Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel where I help you create your magic and create your dream life. Today's video is really exciting because I have a special guest on my channel today. This is Aaron, my boyfriend. Hey for everyone. Those, for those of you who don't know Aaron, he is my boyfriend, obviously, like I just said, but he also does all of the filming and editing for my channel. So even though you might not know his face, he is definitely a big part of this channel. So I wanted to bring him on for this video today because we're gonna be talking about how to have a happy and healthy relationship. Okay, so after that long-winded intro, we are gonna jump into the first thing that I think is most important when you're trying to have a healthy and happy relationship, and that's being comfortable with yourself. Would you agree? At the beginning of mine and Christina's relationship, I wasn't very comfortable with myself and, and Christina didn't make it any better because she always played like um, the hard to get. Type. She would always make it seem like she wasn't actually that interested in me. So then it made me definitely doubt. I wasn't stuff. trying to play hard to get at the beginning of our relationship, but um, as you guys may know, Aaron was my very first boyfriend. So I never was the kind of person who <laughs> felt like they needed somebody else. I was very independent and I was totally okay with just being single on my own. Um, but Aaron, I think was a few steps ahead of me. He was more looking for a serious relationship. Mm. So because Aaron didn't know that I was really interested in him, he felt insecure in himself. And I think it caused a little bit of like rockiness in our, in the early days of our relationship. Yeah. So like being insecure in yourself can really, you know, upset a relationship and can really make it unhealthy because if you're insecure and then say like your partner goes out and has fun with their friends, you don't trust them because you're worried and you're you're not okay with who you are. So then you're always wondering like, mm. are they cheating on me? Are they doing something? And then that just leads to so much bad behavior, like constantly texting, constantly calling, or just getting angry at them, you know, like if they don't message you back or if they want to go out with their friends or something. Mm -hmm. But then once you get to a point where you are comfortable with yourself and you know that you're like like you know that your partner loves you and that yeah. you're good enough for all your that goes away yeah. yeah like when you know that you're good enough for your partner you don't feel that like oh i need to text them i need to know what they're doing at all yeah. times you know you can kind of like relax in the relationship and let your partner have their own life at the beginning of our relationship also like when i was living back in newfoundland and christina would come back here to visit here in nova scotia like i'd always have to be texting her and stuff and mm -hmm. yeah so like he was just he was like nervous because um he still felt that kind of like i was still okay with being single but he really wanted to be in a relationship yeah. and so he always wanted to be texting me but you were never like I, I would never be with somebody who was like really, you know, like yeah. a really jealous, yeah. like overpowering. Yeah. Like he wasn't like that, um, but there definitely was some like insecurity on your part. Yeah, there definitely was, I'll mm -hmm. admit it. But it's just something that you have to work through. Yeah. I think it's True. important to acknowledge it because yeah. why I wanted to bring jealousy up in this video is because I think so many people are in like unhealthy and rocky relationships mm. that are so jealous and people don't really, like they kind of think that's normal, you know? Like, oh, my boyfriend doesn't let me do this or my girlfriend won't let me do that. And like, that's not okay. You should always be able to make your own choices, you know? Mm -hmm. Like you shouldn't have to ask permission for something. It's better to just let it be if you're the one in the, ins if you're insecure. Yeah. Yeah, like it's better to just take a step back. Yeah, and, like, like just trust them. Yeah, because like, that will definitely, like that will make the relationship so much better. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> Every time I go to talk. I know, you, my. <laughs> like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> The next thing I want to talk about that's really important when you're trying to form a healthy and happy relationship is making time for each other. And this is something that me and Aaron struggle with because we're both so busy all the time, like where Aaron was in school full time and then I had so many jobs and then plus I was working on YouTube. So even when I have free time, I'm usually just plugged into my laptop, like working mm. super hard. I think uh, also though, like this is for more of like a developed relationship because First, when you start dating someone, you know, you're constantly actually always wanting to be with them and making excuses to be with that person. That honeymoon phase. At this point in our relationship, we're really comfortable with each other and we're comfortable just do our own things. So it's kind of gone to the, the other way now where it's, we're, we, I play too many games and we're just like, okay, yeah, let's go do our own things. Mm -hmm. And we're sitting next to each other, but she's on her laptop or her phone. When he says play games, by the way, he means like- Play video games. Play video games. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah, I'll go and play video games 
games or something and, and i'll pl uh, and i'll spend a couple hours uh doing that and then she'll she'll be a couple hours on on her laptop and stuff yeah i think it's really important to still make that time to actually spend with each other yeah like now that we're you know we live together and because we've been together for so long mm -hmm. it's easy to just like he does his thing i do my thing we work so hard and then by the end of the night it's like all right let's go to bed it's time to go to bed and then we yeah. feel like we haven't even really talked to each other yeah even though we were probably in the same room the whole day but mm -hmm. if we were doing different things it feels like we weren't hanging out at all and, and especially when you're in a long-term relationship i think it's so important to make time for each other and to set out like you know a few hours a day or like make date nights go out for dinner or something and also like unplug and just put your phone yeah. down too because you can trick yourself into feeling like you're spending time together mm -hmm. but if you're literally just on your phone like on instagram you're not actually spending time so like making that effort to have like actual engaged time together yeah. where you're having a conversation spend time with your loving girlfriend Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another thing that's really important in a healthy and happy relationship is open communication and being honest when you're feeling something. So don't keep all of your feelings inside when you have something that's like really important that you want to say to your partner. We we feel like that, like we've gone through that sometimes, like, you know, when, when you can tell that I have something on my mind and I'm just not saying it. Yeah. And then Aaron's really good because I am kind of a person that will keep things in. I, I just like, if something's wrong, I'm really good at just like playing it off or I just like won't talk about it won't bring it up but what I do really appreciate about Aaron is that he'll just ask me like do you have something you want to talk about or do you have something you want to say like if he feels like I'm not being myself yeah I can always tell when like something's wrong she'll just stop talking to me and she, won't, <laughs> and she, she just won't say anything and she'll just Silent be doing something treatment. <laughs> yeah like she'll just doing dishes or something and we're just going down and sitting down and she won't say a word for like 20 minutes and then I know that there's something wrong. Whether that's something wrong that I done or, or just something else, mm -hmm. I can tell. That's just so important in a relationship is just to like, to be honest, like you can't, and yeah. I think that starts a lot of fights too because you can't expect your partner to know what's going on in your head. Like mm. you have to, if there's something wrong or something that you're not feeling is right in the relationship or even outside of the relationship in your life, you have to talk about it so then that person knows and mm. then you can work together to kind of like make a change or make things better. It's especially early in a relationship too when you don't know the other person as well. Like like well, since me and Christina have been together almost four years now, like I can tell when, when something's wrong, but if you are just recently like started dating and stuff it's, it's hard to tell if someone else is actually you know mm -hmm. trying to, uh, holding something in and like open and honest communication is so important in a relationship yeah. Definitely. This next tip is a really great one, and that is to be supportive of your partner's passions when you're trying to have a happy and healthy relationship. And that's why I love Aaron so much because he is the most supportive boyfriend ever. Obviously, I do things a little bit more like unconventional because I want to work on YouTube and I want to do my own thing and start my own business and stuff like that. He he actually didn't have any experience with filming or editing before I said I wanted to do YouTube. So like I said that I wanted to do YouTube and be a YouTuber and he like picked up the camera and taught himself how to edit and he got really interested too. So like, I think that's the most supportive that you can be, but I think it's just important, you know, to like have a partner that like, if you say you want to do something and it's something that's really important to you, having somebody there that builds you mm. up rather than says like, are you sure you want to do that? Or like, I don't know if you can do that, you know, and like makes you second guess what you want to do. Like they should be there to support you. And then if things don't work out, then you go from there and they support you as well. If there's something that no matter how unconventional, like you said, one person might want to do, if later down the road, maybe like a few years, or you might really start to resent that person because- If they don't support if you. If they don't support you and you really actually did want to do it. Yeah, I can see what you mean. Like if I had wanted to start YouTube and then you didn't want me to, and then I mm. didn't do it, but then yeah. always in the back of my mind, I was like, I wish I had started yeah. that. And then he held me back. Like that can cause a lot that of can, resentment yeah, in a lot relationships. Of, a lot of friction, yeah. Even if it's something that you don't think is like that good of a, a good of an idea, I think it's good to give your opinion. But like, in a, in a, whether that person decides to do it or not, you know, 
Mm-hmm. If they and, really want to do it and then just kind of... Like, and if they do it. make a decision to like go for their passion, then, you know, you told them your opinion, but if they yeah. still want to do it, then yeah, you then, should be there to support yeah. them. Because you're a team. Like, I think that's, that's how we look at our relationship. Mm-hmm. Like, we're boyfriend and girlfriend, but we're kind of like a team in life. Another thing I want to talk about that can be really important when trying to have a healthy relationship is to have somewhat similar values and ideas about life. Now, this isn't like totally 100% like crucial in a healthy and happy relationship because there's a lot of people out there that are total opposites and they have a super awesome relationship and there is that quote that says opposites attract Mm. but for me and Aaron we are so similar and we find that that actually works out better do you would you say Uh, yeah it's it well it just helps in day-to-day life with the other person Mm -hmm. having the same interests wanting the same things out of life for example me and Christina both want a family and we want not only do we want a family but we also want a big family we want to live in the same area we want to pursue youtube and stuff we even have like we have the same taste in like decoration like yeah, decor like, like home decor right, but th- i know that's not the case with every relationship and that's no. not going to be the case and that doesn't mean that you that person's not meant for you but trying to find some solid ground and some common ground with with that other person i think mm-hmm. is definitely makes every day easier. like if you're if you're a couple that doesn't necessarily have the same values and ideas mm. like trying to find those things that you do have in common and kind of like latching on to those because i think like having some things in common like can really help bring you together maybe you both like to do the same activity or you both really like a certain restaurant or something like that mm-hmm. like just make that your thing and then like focus on that because it is it is helpful too to have like we're not saying you need to be the exact same person yeah. because you need to that's just not what that's just not really Realistic. Yeah, we're just lucky that we have a lot in common in that sense. Because mm-hmm. there's that's a lot a of like, there's a lot of give thing. and take in relationships too, and I think that's really important. Just like you know, even though it's something that you might not like or not necessarily support, like if it's really important to, same with the passions thing, like we were just talking about. If it's really important to your partner, then it should also be important to you. Mm. Woohoo! He did it, guys! He made it through a video! Yay! <laughs> I'm almost like punching the face. (laughs) (laughs) I'm trying to like do the outro and Aaron's still like, okay, everyone, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and also press the red subscribe button. If you're new here, I have my website, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook all linked down below for you to check out. And I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.